welcome to prasi antu educational academy today i am going to explain the small problems as well as the properties of four year transform only two problems and the two properties from the four year transforms so problem number 1 is find the four year sin transform of 1 divided by x find the four year sin transform of 1 divided by x answer is four year sin transform formula is fs of f of x is equal to root of square root of 2 divided by pi integral over the limit 0 to infinity f of x sin sx dx for f of x 1 by x we have to apply in the next step so fs of 1 by x is equal to root of 2 divided by pi integral over the limit 0 to infinity 1 by x sin sx dx so we are going to solve this uh, integration by substitution method so consider s x s x is equal to theta so x is equal to theta divided by s s x is equal to theta means x is equal to theta divided by s s into dx is equal to d theta s into dx is equal to d theta so we have to change uh, the limits also when x is equal to 0 in sx is equal to theta there you got to substitute in sx is equal to theta you got to substitute x equal to 0 so what is the theta will be 0 when x equal to infinity s into infinity will be infinity so theta is also infinity so when x equal to 0 theta is also 0 when x equal to infinity theta is also infinity so now substitute So f s of one by x is equal to root of two divided by pi integral over the limit zero to infinity one divided by for x you go to apply theta by s one divided by theta divided by s the sine of s c x what is the s x that is theta so sine theta I have written next into d x. dx is equal to s dx is equal to d theta dx is equal to d theta divided by s so i have written here dx is equal to d theta divided by s so therefore root of 2 pi pi integral over the limit 0 to infinity this 1 divided by theta by s can be written as s by theta into sin theta d theta by s yes so now a root of 2 pi pi integral over 0 to infinity because s divided by theta into sin theta d theta divided by s s cancel s divided by s cancelled so root of 2 pi pi integral over the limit 0 to infinity sin theta divided by theta into d theta sin theta divided by theta into d theta what is sin theta divided by theta into d theta which is equal to integral 0 to infinity sin theta divided by theta into d theta is equal to pi by 2 so therefore root of 2 pi pi into pi by 2 so simply pi by 2 can be written as root pi into root pi divided by root 2 into root 2 some root 2 root 2 cancel root pi root pi in the denominator as well as numerator cancel therefore root to pi by 2 the answer is root pi by 2 so second i'll explain you the property after that i'll explain you a small problem next i'll explain you one property write the modulation property and prove it so the modulation property and prove it so the modulation property is capital f of Small f of x cos a x is equal to one by two into f of capital f of s plus a plus capital f of s minus a. 
This is a modulation property. So first you have to write the Fourier transform formula. Capital F of X is equal to, capital F of S is equal to 1 divided by root 2 pi, integral over the limit minus infinity to plus infinity, small f of x e power isx into dx. So capital F of small f of x cos ax is equal to 1 divided by root 2 pi, integral over the limit to minus infinity to plus infinity. Instead of f of x, in the problem that is given, f of x cos ax. So f of x cos ax into e power isx into dx. What is cos ax? So you can write the formula. What is the formula? e power i ax is equal to cos ax plus i sin ax. e power minus i ax is equal to cos ax minus i sin ax. Cos ax plus i sin ax, cos ax minus i sin ax, both you have to add, you will get to 2 cos ax is equal to e power i ax plus e power minus i ax. Okay, so cos ax is equal to e power i ax plus e power minus i ax divided by 2. So therefore, instead of cos ax, here you have to apply the formula. So 1 divided by root 2 pi, integral over the limit minus infinity to plus infinity, small f of x, e power i ax plus e power minus i ax divided by 2 into e power i sx into dx. Now each term multiply with e power i sx. So 1 divided by root 2 pi, integral over the limit minus infinity to plus infinity, f of x e power i ax into e power i sx plus e power minus i ax into e power i sx whole divided by 2 into dx. Now you have to write 1 divided by root 2 pi integral over the limit to minus infinity to plus infinity, right? Minus infinity to plus infinity. F of x e power basis are equal, you can add the power e power i into s plus a x plus e power minus i into or plus i into s minus a. e power i into s plus a x plus e power i into s minus a x whole divided by 2 into dx. So here you have to integrate which is equal to 1 divided by root 2 pi into 2. So divided by into 2 into 1 by 2 1 divided by root 2 pi into 1 by 2. So the, I have written 1 by 2 I am taking as common 1 by 2 into 1 divided by root 2 pi integral over minus infinity to plus infinity f, f of x e power i into s plus a x dx plus 1 divided by root 2 pi integral over minus infinity to plus infinity f of x e power i into s minus a x dx. So first one which is equal to 1 by 2 into capital F of s plus a plus capital F of s minus a. Third one, find the Fourier cosine transform of e power minus 3x plus 3 into e power minus x. The Fourier cosine transform is fc of f of x is equal to root of 2 pi pi integral over the limit 0 to infinity f of x cos sx dx. So first we have to remember the formula. Integral over the limit 0 to infinity e power minus ax cos bx dx is equal to a divided by a square plus b square, a square plus b square. So f c of e power minus 3x can be written as root of 2 pi pi integral over the limit 0 to infinity e power minus 3x into cos sx dx. So e power minus 3x cos sx dx, just now we have studied the formula e power minus ax cos bx dx is equal to a divided by a square plus b square. So using this formula, integral over the limit 0 to infinity, e power minus 3x cos sx dx is equal to root of 2 pi pi, 3 divided by 3 square plus s square. Take this equation number 1. Next to fc of e power minus x, root of 2 pi pi, integral over the limit 0 to infinity, 3 into e power minus x cos sx dx. 
so it is equal to 3 root of 2 pi pi into 0 to integral over the limit 0 to infinity e power minus x cos sx dx. So 3 into root of 2 pi pi. What is e power minus x? x cos sx dx which is equal to 1 divided by s square plus 1. 3 into root of 2 pi pi 1 divided by s square plus 1. So root of 2 pi pi 3 divided by s square plus 1 square 1. So fc of e power minus 3x plus fc of 3 into e power minus x which is equal to root of 2 pi pi into 3 divided by s square plus 9 plus 1 divided by s square plus 1. The last problem is the not a problem it's a property of Fourier transform prove that capital F of small f of ax which is equal to 1 divided by a capital F of s by a. So for your trend post, you have to write for the answer is capital F of a small f of x is equal to f of s is equal to integral 1 divided by root 2 pi integral over the limit minus infinity to plus infinity f of x e power isx dx. So capital F of a small f of ax is equal to 1 divided by root 2 pi integral over the limit minus infinity to plus infinity f of ax e power isx dx by taking ax is equal to t x equal to t by a a into dx is equal to dt so dx is equal to dt by a so when x equal to minus infinity t will be minus infinity when x equal to plus infinity t is also plus infinity so substitute in the formula so capital f of small f of ax is equal to 1 divided by root 2 pi integral over minus infinity to plus infinity ft into e power is into t by a f, f of t e power is in, into t by a into dt by a so 1 by a i have taken as a common into 1 divided by root 2 pi integral over the limit minus infinity to plus infinity f of t e power i into s by a into t dt. So what is s by a into d dt? 1 by a capital F of s by a. This is the answer. So thank you all for further Fourier transform. All the problems 16 mark as well as 2 more questions in the next video you can watch. Thank you. Thank you all.